Hello, Thousand Pound Pig here. As you can see, I'm in the spectator mode in Smite. I thought I'd talk about this because I was playing as Geb here and it was a pretty good match, but I wasn't recording at the time. And sometimes I don't record. But this was a really good match, so I thought this would be a good chance to show you the spectator UI, how, how things have changed, because they've updated it in the last patch and there's a few new things. So I'll go through each of those, but first I'll talk about the teams. Uh, this was in league mode, so it was random teams. I was playing as Geb. There you see me with the new the Geb One robot skin. It's awesome. Be like, you know, I think this. I thought when it came out, it's meant to be a kind of transformer, but it's more like Pacific Rim. I don't really like Pacific Rim. It's weird. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about the dual lane. Uh, they had, uh, we had a Neath, and I was Geb, of course. We didn't do too well because they were warding a lot. Their areas and Apollo, Apollo was warding a lot, and I love. I love a scared carry, and our carry wasn't scared. Theirs was, because they use a lot of wards. They don't have any up at the moment, but they they actually put up two wards each at the start of the game. That's fine. That, I find that really rare. But anyway, in the middle lane, we had a Cool Cool Can, and they had a Zonkwai. Uh, our Cool Cool Can did, actually did quite alright, but he, he really came out uh, in the in the late game, I, I believe. And our uh, solo lane was big problem. Uh, Hebo against the mana. Hebo has the advantage there. Look at this. Oh my god, that mana stole that. Uh, he's in trouble. This Hebo was actually Geb in the last round I played with him, which was the round right before this. I tried to help, but couldn't. He, he was actually going to go as Geb again. He said, all right, I'll Geb, and I, and I was ahead of him in the pick one, and I said, no, I'll Geb. <laughs> so I chose Geb, basically so he couldn't do that, and he chose Hebo, and he just... Turns out he sucks in the solo lane as well, so it got to a point where I actually said to him, just Hebo, just stay away from them. And I don't rage much in games, but that's probably as far as I rage, because that's basically, basically me telling him Hebo, you're crap. Stay away from them. Because I think we, if we, if we wanted to win, we needed to do that. Than me trying to ambush Ares. But the mana did all right. He was pretty fed, and we caught back up with him. Uh, where am I? I'll click on there. See my point of view. What? Yes, and our jungler was Kali, which I always respect a decent Kali player. This this was a decent Kali as well. You know, every now and then she would tell us who her target was. But you'll see her come out in the late game as well. But if you look on the map you can see we only have one tower left and they have five. So this is a huge disadvantage we have at the moment. So it could end like any moment now. If we all die, or especially if I die, because I have Hand of Gods, then they can get the fire giant. But now I'll go through all the, I'll go through the UI, see, show you what's new after this fight. Look at this. Kali's going after Ares. Uh, anyway, so down here you can see there's a few tabs here which you can click on items. It shows you all the items you buy, obviously, and the kill, death, assist. You can click on stats. It shows you some more. So player damage. I'm probably terrible because I'm support. No, I'm not that terrible because I've been doing more play damage than Neath and Hebo. Hebo's a solo lane against a Vamana. That is terrible. I've actually done more damage than Kali. Holy crap. I didn't expect to do that much damage as support in like 24 minutes. But maybe that's just my style. Graphs, you can see here, you can just see the XP difference and the gold difference. If you take out the gold fury or the fire giant or a bunch of towers, you see the spike. So that's that kind of tells that. So you can see blue team. We are we are the blue team. They are the red team. It's definitely in favor of the red team at the moment. Look at that big spike there. And it spikes, of course, when you do see a player kill. The mid furies have been doing all right because I've been there for a lot of them. I haven't got most of them, but it's an average mid fury team fights, I think. There's me trying to protect Hebo again. Hebo's probably gonna die up there. Yeah. God damn it, Hebo. Uh, anyway, down here, 
click on fight and you can see everyone has like a kind of health bar. You have like a team health bar. So at the moment we have less health than they do. But they're dropping quite fast. And down here you can see that there's a few toggles. So up here you can see both bands at the top right and top left. You toggle this and you can get rid of those bands. You can also do that by pressing B. Here is the toggle follow player info. Um, oh, bottom left, you see that. So I can click on any player down here and you can see their player info, including stuff from the other team. But I'll, I'll keep it on what I was playing so you, you kind of know. What is that crap underneath me? It's like black chains or something? I don't know, that's weird. It looks like Ares has chained me permanently. It's like a bit of a bug. Oh no. Yeah, well, if I get with a shield and there's Kali, I always try and shield her towards the end of her ultimate because when she comes out of her ultimate she can't be killed. But I haven't really played much with Kali, so I think I think that helps. I don't know. Uh, with the controls you can go E and Q, E to go up, Q to go down, because Hebo is probably going to die again. No. Save us, pig! Oh, I like that one. I didn't want the mana to get Coco Can. I saved him. Yeah, so at the moment we only have two ta one tower still. We are right back in the base. We have one Phoenix down. Which Neith is defending that, that lane at the moment, which is good of her. She's probably going about, about to die. Oh god, look at her. Yep, she just died. Oh, uh, as for more keys, if you press, uh, what is it, U, you get rid of the walls. So you can just see over the walls in this replay mode. I'm going to keep it off like that. I think that's a lot more helpful. You know where, where all the walls are. So down in the bottom we'll go through more toggles. What's this? Toggle Fury. Oh, bottom right you see the Gold Fury and the Fire Giant. They're timers, so they're both up. They're both at 100%. You can toggle that on and off. Um, I'll keep that up. Right here. What does this do? Oh, this gets rid of the player icons on the side. I suggest keeping that up because it's really handy. And I think... Does this even say when... Yes, it does. Look at this. What, what ability is that? Uh... That is in blink, blink. So their Ares had blink, and you can see it's down. They, you used to not be able to see that. You just used to just see an, an icon which is just on all the time. You didn't know when they had used it, but now in the spectator UI, you can see that. So some good improvements there. What am I doing? I'm standing there. Great. Oh, shield Hebo, get out of there bro. Oh look at that ultimate, love it. That ultimate and then Kukul Gans ult. Did great, the Hebo died, of course he would. Ah, oh. so why so tanky. Anyway, next is a toggle playback controls F10. Oh, up the top right, you can see this go up and down. That's that's what it does. So you can change the speed, you can make it go faster, or you can make it go slower. Look at this, slow motion get... Hang on, get a good view. Yeah, as I said before, I watched Pacific Rim. I didn't really like Pacific Rim, I think it was... I, I don't really... There wasn't really anything special about it. I understand there's whole kaiju and everything. This slow mo on get is awesome, by the way. I understand it's kaiju and stuff, which is cool. But I didn't, it didn't really seem like a, like a, there was a lot of detail given to the world apart from the monster fights. And it seemed like it was missing a lot of detail. You know? But it could just be me. Did, have you seen Pacific Rim? Is it any good to you guys? Do you like it? Uh, we'll, we'll take this up to normal speed again. Uh, on the right, you can also go back in time and forward in time. I'll go forward a bit more. Forward a bit more. You can pause it. You get some nice matrix views. Yeah, what is that stuff on, on his bum? It looks like... Yeah, it's chains. Oh well. 
yeah, I kind of want to show this video because, well, you'll see the ending. At the moment, you see, you see, we only have one tower. We got one phoenix down. Neath is fighting that side, but we're kind of we're stuck in our base almost. We can't get to the fire giant. We can't do much at all. Uh, in this situation, I would tell, I would tell. I would suggest that they would get the fire giant, but I was looking out for that. Every time I would see a bunch of them off the map, I would go to the fire giant just to check on it. And of course I did have stage 3 of hand gods. Here's me trying to save Kukul Can. I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh yeah, I, I thought he was going to die up there, so I just left him. There's some Ares chains floating. Let's have a look at that. Look at this freaking... That is actually awesome, but it's, it's a bug. What the hell, high res? They're at the fire giant now, that's just Apollo, what's he doing? Yeah, they seem to have the fire giant watered almost all the time. Their Absol Link, that's their carry? Yeah, their Ares had it watered most of the time. If, if their Ares didn't have it watered, then someone else would have it watered. Their, their Vimana was watering it as well at the moment. But in this situation, as I was constantly telling Hebo to stay safe. Neath was always winching that we were losing. I was actually trying to surrender at the point, and I don't surrender much. I always, you know, I always believe we can bite out of it. But yeah, I was surrendering for this match because I didn't think we could fight out of it, because I didn't think we had a good team fight with Hebo constantly dying, and Neath wasn't too great either. So it was really just me, Kukulkan, and Kali which had to try to win this. There I am, I'm in trouble. Ultimate, knock them out. I'm trying to keep them occupied. Thankfully, Coco Can came along and helped. Ares in trouble. They got Ares. Follows in the air. Being a bit aggressive there. Great ult by Hunbats. Ah, uh, I think they got Kali. She used her ultimate to save herself. That is awesome. But it was inevitable that she would die. And I escape. So at 32 minutes, when the fire giant and gold fury is up, I mainly wanted to stay alive. And if you look at my score, I've died the least in the game. Oh no, the mana hasn't died at all. But I've died only two times. As support, I would say that's kind of selfish, but in a game this late, when... In a game this late, the support kind of has to stay alive, which is a weird... A weird comparison because you have to die a lot as support, sacrificing yourself for your team and everything. But if you die in the late game, like after 30 minutes, then your t then the enemy team can easily get the fire giant without you. And if you check out the actives of everyone, um, I don't remember Kali having stage three hand of gods. Uh, she had stage two. Hebo had Hebo had stage three, but that was stupid. Why the hell would Hebo have stage three hand of the gods? He doesn't need to be there for the fire giant. And he could really he couldn't really stay alive. I guess he wanted to do that just to compete with Vamana's wave clear. Which I guess, I don't know. I also got Magi's blessing to stop any crowd control. Oh something I do want to show you is if you press uh, the letter O on the map. Oh wait, so that's how you guys get rid of the, the player icons, okay. No, it's P. Ah, oh, good ult. Decent ult. Yeah, if you get rid of P, you can see everything without the HUD on. I just like this mode. I'm probably moving around a bit too much at the moment. That might be a bit, uh... Seems a bit fast. Yeah. What the hell is Ares doing? Look at that! See, that could be some decent screenshots there. That follows up, he's gonna dive on Kukul Can. Yeah, I wasn't watching for that. Ah. Anyway, you get some good action screenshots for this. Kali's fighting Ares by herself. Got him! Kali does a lot of damage. So we'll go back to the HUD. Uh, but yeah, I was basically trying to stay alive. And I didn't want to die because they would that's a guaranteed fire giant for them. I didn't see my team going up for the fire giant. My team wasn't warding at all. Look at the map. There's no wards up. Actually, did I just press something to hide the wards? Was that it? 
Uh, I? No. P? No. O? No. Um, I think I did. M? Yeah, M. Yeah, there's no wards up apart from my one at the fire giant and one in the speed buff. I think I did that. So you see I was constantly getting rid of their wards in the fire giant. And Ares is there right now and he gets rid of my sentry ward right away, the asshole. And I was the only one warding it. Your team has destroyed a left enemy phoenix. So, really frustrating. But you don't really need wards to keep an eye on the fire giant. It's nice, but if you know where they are, then that's a lot more useful. Like, I knew Apollo, for the fire giant, they don't usually go for the fire giant without their carry on board, because their carry does a lot of damage to it. The carry does a lot of damage to all towers, skull furies, fire giants, so if they are attacking something without their carry with them, then they're going to be a lot slower, and usually you want to get those objectives fast. So at the moment you can see I'm 1, 2, and 16, which means I I have been involved in 17 out of the 26 kills. I wouldn't say that's great, but it's above average it seems, because I always say that rate this poor on having the amount of cis... What is it? Um, your support should have twice the amount of assists as deaths, and I obviously got that with 17 assists instead of 2 deaths. But then there's another way to rate them, that your support should be in involved in at least half of your team's kills. So 17 kills, you know, I've been involved in over half the kills. 18 assists now. Ugh. Oh. See that? Damn Zonkwa, I just killed three of my teammates. See, now they can go for the fire giant. But there's only two of them alive. Vamana and Zonkwa, so... They... Nice stuff. <laughs> Got to kill Zonkwa because of Neath. See, now you see the minions on the left and the right constantly coming in. And I still have Ares chains over me. What the hell? The matter's in the middle, so now I would be calling out help the middle lane, help the middle lane, because I did not want them taking the the phoenixes. If they take all three phoenixes, that would be a problem. I don't think they ever did take all three phoenixes. But you see, 40 minutes in, two phoenixes down. They still have five towers up. They have a huge advantage. Which, let's look at the stats and the graphs. They have a huge advantage. Look at that, it's still in the red. It's not going up to blue at all. But stats, am I still high in player damage? Kali has done more player damage than me, finally. And Kukulkan is still insane. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing there. I think I'm just laughing that they can't kill me because I'm just so tanky. Of course with my items I bought Serenity. I bought a lot of tanky items including Stone of Gaia because I wanted to stay alive. Wow. Uh, how do I get rid of this the walls again? You. Alright, we'll keep that up. So I'm just trying to keep Kali alive. So at the moment I see Hebo's in trouble. I can't save him. <laughs> I just look like, nope. <laughs> and I'm just picking on Ares because he doesn't do much damage to me. He's just annoying me. Kali's behind him. There I am. I need to put a shield up on Kali. That was a useless shield because ha she has her ultimate. I'm not. A I'm not great at using get shields. Let's see, I'm a bit far up. I don't need to be there, but I'm trying to bait them to my teammates. Put a shield on Kali. Kali should be able to get a kill here. Uh, I guess not. Once again, I'm making sure Kali gets to retreat. So I stand in the way at the moment. See, I think this Ares stood around for too long.
Nice hold by Carly. Does she get a target? No, I should have shielded right then. Oh, she got a target. A target was on quiet, so she heals up straight away. Awesome. So we seem to be winning the team fights when it's just Carly, me, and Coco Can. But when Neath and Heba were involved, it was it seems to be too many people to try and protect. Now I have 21 assists and 2 kills, that's 23. Uh, so 23, I've been involved in 23 fights, or 23 confirmed kills out of 34. I think that's a pretty decent order. Now we would take the Fire Giant. Finally, at the Fire Giant, but we knew we couldn't get it because Vimana was on his way. He used his ultimate to speed him himself up. That was weird. And then he started fighting it, and luckily I heard. So all I really needed to do was just be a threat there. Just be... Just scare them away. <laughs> they were constantly taking damage, and no, I was taking lava damage like an idiot. So yeah, just constantly being that... That pressure that... Oh. So yeah, I was constantly being that pressure that I could steal that. We have three people with hand gods now on the team. One, two... No, Kali bought Fist of Gods. And they have three. Do they have normal Hand of Gods? Apollo did. Hunt Butts had Hand of Gods. And their Ares had Hand of Gods. So if we wanted to skew the Fire Giant, Ares, Hunt Butts, and Apollo had to be dead. They just got Neath. Neath got a tower. So now they only have four towers, but we've been down towers for a long time now. 46 minutes in. There's me and Ares doing the support dance. They seem to really want me dead, but they aren't doing much damage to me. Your middle phoenix is under attack. So on the map you can see they are attacking us on all sides. They aren't in the middle at the moment. Well, they are in the middle. We should be able to kill Ares here. He was up a bit too long, I think. Nice shield by me. Oh, he walked into it. <laughs> I think the Ares was a bit pushed up a lot of the times, which is why he was killed so often. But it's kind of hard not to if you're Ares. Ares is constantly pushing up. So we're all level 20s now on both teams. I'm still looking after Hebo, trying to protect him from any from any damage because he seems to be taking a lot. This was weird, he put down his girdle of damage or anything so I thought he wanted to attack and as soon as I knew, as soon as I saw that myself I attacked. Evo with a terrible ultimate. Neath with a good, good ult saves him but then Apollo comes in to ruin the day. No. Ah, and once again I'm up there by myself because Evo died. <laughs> so I gotta get away. It's not quite though, I don't think he should have been chasing, it was kind of pointless for him, unless he wanted to clear some waves. Look at this viewpoint by the way. Ah, that is awesome. That view distance, I can see the solo lane of, of, from the duo lane, that is cool. Yeah, we can just stay here. So peaceful. Something which I should show is, look at the... Look at the wallpaper. I call it wallpaper. Wallpaper background. Up there you can see, I think that's supposed to be Mount Olympus. Up there. That's pretty awesome. Up here you can see their version, which is... Oh wait, that's not a good view. Um, I don't know, it's meant to be some crack in the ground. There's some, I don't know, maybe an entrance to Tartarus or something. Which is their underworld, I guess. Over here in the draw lane, you can see a waterfall. A waterfall in a MOBA. That is huge, and it actually looks pretty decent. Look at that. Pretty cool. Can't see that waterfall, but yeah, lava into waterfall. Your middle phoenix and is over this attack. side. Whoa. Your titan is under attack. Um, oh, it's just rocks? It is. Oh, and it's a little town there, which I thought was kind of weird, because that town is. Yeah. Shut down. Anyway, I'm not paying attention to the fight. See, it's now 50 minutes in, and Hebo in trouble again. 
So I'm still calling for surrenders. I've been involved in 28 kills now out of 39, which is pretty good. I'm mainly focusing on protecting the phoenixes and clearing waves at the moment. No point focusing on kills as good because I'm just kind of, I have to secure kills. So, so yeah, you see me there. I just use the ult, and that's just to give Hebo some time to get away. So the mana, the mana basically wasted his ult there. They get a phoenix, of course. Damn Apollo. Late game Apollo is so annoying. But now that I can't see them on the map, I check out the fire giant, and they weren't there. But I did find where they were, but now they are all together so they're a bit brave and thankfully I'm there just to show them. Yeah. And I escape again here. Hebo's there, Hebo's probably gonna die. Wow, he took a lot of damage past. <laughs> He's wasted his ult. And I'm there by myself again. <laughs> I have to ult just so I can find a way through. I came pretty close to dying there. Carly saved me, kind of. Oh, look at this ult! Oh, I nearly got Zong Kwai. I'm in trouble here. Wow, that nearly got me. Just so tanky! And I killed Zonkui again. So that was a decent team fight. We killed four of them, they killed two of us. That seemed to be how it worked, which their Ares was... I think their Ares was constantly a bit too far up. Well, I was a lot more passive support because I knew if we were to die, we would lose it. But at the moment here, you can see Artanian is very low. You know, a few basic attacks could kill him. And at the moment, at this time, I was saying, I was saying, watch out for Apollo's ultimate, and that's why I clicked the map. And here's a helicopter. And at, at the moment, you can see me typing. I was typing, incoming, incoming, incoming. And thankfully, my team knew. Hebo ultimate straight away. It's neat. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> That's the first time I saw that. That's awesome. So it's nice to see that probably the two worst players in the team, Hebo and Neath, were listening to me. Great response. Whenever the Titan is low, keep an eye on Apollo. If their Apollo is dead, then they can't exactly get the Fire Giant very fast. And they can't take Phoenixes fast or the Titan, which they seem to lack a lot of damage apart from Apollo. There I am again, just constantly harassing them, being on the side. I'm trying to get into their face mainly. Oh, just to slow them down. Kali should be able to get away here. Knockups. Kali kicking ass again. Ah. Yeah. See, no point in me chasing him. Oh, he is Apollo. Apollo's probably going to die on Kali. Yep. And he gets away. But at the moment, I'm just following Kali because, you know, I don't want her to die. Here we go. Don't know what Kali was doing, but I was basically following her because I knew if. Because I knew her and me could secure kills, even though she didn't have much mana. Here we go, look at this. Look at that damage. Stun her. Kali. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. And they're all dead. Now finally, we got to their Phoenix. I'm not sure if we take it out here. Here comes their Hunbats. His, I think he ults. Yeah. Whoops. Ah. Oh. See, Kukul Can using his ult to secure the Phoenix. I quite like that. Because we need that. We needed that breathing space with our lanes. At the moment, we do have our three towers, but yeah. And now we're fighting the Titan. 
See here, look at this. My team dies. And I wanted to get away. Like I could have stayed there for my team, stunned them, attacked the Titan, but I don't think it would work because I needed to stay alive, as I keep saying. The tank needs to stay alive to secure the fire giant. And constantly be that harassment. So here I was kind of nervous. You can see them running pretty fast. They activated heavenly agility, I think. <laughs> They're running straight after me. I'm running straight back to base. I'm keeping an eye on them. They're clearing waves as they go. I'm running straight back to base because three of us are dead. Hebo, Coco Can, and Kali. That's three of our best damage. Neith, although she's a carry, she hasn't really been doing much damage to them. Let's see the play damage here. So at the moment, I've still been doing more damage than Hebo and Neith. Kali has been doing more damage, and so has Coco Can. As a tank, I should be doing the least amount of damage, but I'm constantly in their face. And now they are finally ignoring me. They're going for the Phoenix. See, I'm trying to get in their way. I ult just to delay them a bit. Knock up. Now Neath is there. Misses. <laughs> now she's in trouble. Ah. Oh. Thankfully she has a back there. They got a Metal Phoenix and they didn't really follow Ares. I think they should have. They might have got another Phoenix there. Oh god. What are they doing? So it's now 58 minutes into the game, not a lot of games last this long. But it's the point where people start buying pots. People buy pots to do more damage, to survive longer and everything. So as a support, I bought the defensive pots. Uh, I don't know if I bought it at the moment, but I bought it later on. That was because I knew I was taking a lot of focus from them, so I needed to be a bit more tanky. Coco Can is in trouble there. Don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's going straight for the he's going straight for the Titan. Look at him. Ah, oh, brave. <laughs> he made a serious mistake. Damn, he went straight for it. I tried to help him, but I couldn't get there in time. And I go straight back to base again. As you can see, it's 1 versus 5. They're all alive, I'm by myself. And here's two of them in the middle. So I need to try to hold them off. So where are they going to go? Are they going to go straight for the Titan or the Phoenixes? They're going straight for the Titans. See, I stunned them because I knew I could get both of them. I'm just trying to delay them. And he was coming up behind him. I don't know if he could do much. Now there's three there. Humbat's going straight for the Titan. Ah! Oh, straight out, but I killed him. Now I'm just trying to block Apollo. Always block the Apollo if you have the help. Always block the carry if you have the help. Once again, getting in their way. Ah! Oh. See, he's zoning them out constantly. Apollo's in the right, so I thought I'd help out Hebo. Thankfully, he stuck around when he was, when he had low health, so it was an easy kill for Hebo. But this late in the game, you'd think there would be a lot of fights around the fire giant. Thankfully, it is warded. Now, here we go. Now there's three of us. Now there's four, now we are all alive, and they have only Vamana and Ares, so it's time for a bit of revenge. Look at this. I go in to tank the Phoenix, and they ignore me. They go for the squishy characters. Ah, oh, love that ult. Hebo's too. And finally they're all dead, but Hebo is alive right now. But Humbats has woken up right now. Decent ult. Takes out Hebo, scares off Carly. Oh, and I'm there by myself trying to take out this Titan. I don't know if I could do it, so I ran. <laughs> Here we are. Me, and, me, Carly, and Neath. And Apollo's there to save the day. Apollo takes out Carly. I'm trying to protect Neath, but I need to stay alive myself. And it's another DSI. Neath, 
Nearly died. God damn it. Nith died from the Phoenix. <laughs> oh no. So now, once again, I'm the only one alive again. <laughs> and I'm the tank. I can't do much damage to the Titan. What am I meant to do? Am I walking backwards? I am. <laughs> See, me and Zunkwa are just ignoring each other now. There's no point me attacking him, I'm just attacking... I'm focusing on the minions. And now I'm running because I'm too far up by myself. Oh, here we go. See? I knew that they weren't chasing me up anymore because I couldn't see them on the map. And it was time for the fire giant finally! 63 minutes in! Here we go. I think... Yeah, they knew I was there. Now how brave are they? Oh... My team is kind of there! Oh, another great ult by Kukul Can. Off by Hunt. That's Apollo's in the fight now. Kali just cures a kill. Against the Ares, that will help a lot. And Neath secured kill of Apollo. So now it's me and Kali. See, we could have taken down the Fire Giant, but we chose to go straight for the Titan at the moment. With four of them dead with around 60 minutes long, they all they had was a Humbats to protect themselves. All they had was a Humbats to defend the Titan. So, me and Carly, by ourselves, Neath was way back at the base. Neath didn't have a whole ult, she couldn't help out, it was just me and Carly. We tried to take out this Titan. And... I needed to stay alive again, just in case. There's me just protecting myself. And we did it! So yeah, that was a really long match, 65 minutes. Of course I do shorten it for you guys. But I found it to be a really challenging match because I was surrendering, my teammates were also surrendering, but we weren't surrendering at the same time. I found it to be a really challenging match because that is probably one of the only matches where we've come back from being so far behind. As I said before, we had every tower down and they had five towers up. They were constantly pushing us back. And if you look at the stats, you can see I still did more damage than Neath and Hebo. They were just terrible, they didn't do much damage at all. So I didn't want to spoil this at the start, but you can see I made this video because I wanted to show how you can break out of that situation where you, you are just so far back dug into your tower, your team won't surrender, and you can't get out of it. Basically you have to know where they are at all times. You, you can't rely on wards to do that because you can't get in position to use those wards. You have to know where they are. So you have to try and keep vision on their carry as much as possible. If you can't see their carry then just assume they're at the fire giant taking it and you have to go and try and steal it. If you're a support player after 30 minutes don't die because if you die they most likely secure the fire giant every time. So that's why you only see that I died two times because I was very paranoid about dying and giving them those kills. So pretty good match. 